We do have a couple bacterial diseases in soybean that we can see. Um, these are diseases that typically will not be a problem as far as needing to be managed, uh, but there's something that identification is important. So we have bacterial blight, which is more prevalent when we have cooler, wet conditions and any type of an injury. So we'll see bacterial blight in areas after we've had hailstorms, uh, even some high-speed winds and sandblasting, even really heavy rainstorms that can create small wounds on leaves. Uh, with that. So again, cooler weather, typically bacterial blight. The other thing we'll see, and typically later in the season, is bacterial pustule. Now bacterial pustule is going to be more confined to the upper portion of the canopy, not typically associated with any type of injury, uh, but more just those warmer temperature conditions. So the difference between blight and pustule really is the, the optimum range for temperature, and then that the bacterial pustule is not typically associated with injury. You'll just see scattered uh, small lesions you know, on the upper portion of the canopy. Now as far as identification for these two, we'll see different types of symptoms. So bacterial blight, we're gonna tend to see a, a, a small dark lesion that'll have yellow haloing around it. Um, most of the time will be concentrated in a small area. If we have injury in the canopy, it will be confined to that zone in the canopy of where that injury occurred. So you may see bacterial blight, for example, even early in the canopy, you know, much earlier than the stage of the crop we're in here, where you'll have a, maybe the fourth note up where you had a storm, you could have a significant amount of injury on the leaves at that point. Now, the other thing we'll see with bacterial diseases a lot of times is some water soaking or wetness. It almost looks like you took your fingernail and pressed down on the leaf and made it, made it appear wet, you know, or like a dark green color around that lesion. And you will see that many times on the underside with bacterial blight. Bacterial pustule, you're just going to see those small, you know, very small uh, lesions on the top. If you flip that leaf over, like the name pustule, it forms a little raised area. Uh, this is that one that looks like uh, when we talked a lot about soybean rust in the past could be a, mis a mimic of a soybean rust type pustule. Now when, when we're looking at these two diseases, we know that they're going to overwinter in residue. Uh, they're going to be favored by you know, continuous soybean production, no-till. Those are both things that are going to favor it. Uh, but again, most of the time we don't see enough damage from these that we're worried in the soybean production system about trying to control them. So it's really more identification of this compared to our, our common diseases like we see with brown spot or frog eye leaf spot as far as some of our more common foliar diseases.